right. Got myself a cordless coffee maker. Been looking into it for a long time and finally decided to get it. Because usually at work, customers offer you, you know, cup of coffee, cup of tea. And recently we walked in a house where they didn't offer us anything, which is fine. I've got just a, like a kettle in the van. But that kettle then, uh, I left it on my daughter's place and I didn't have it with me. And then went to other job a few days after that and the customer was very nice, offered me a cup of coffee and I said, oh yes, please, thank you. And when coffee arrived, I just could not drink it. It was undrinkable. So, I thought myself, let's get a coffee maker. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, nicely packed. Right, this would be, I believe, yeah, like a little coffee cradle. Put coffee in there coffee pad or whatever and slide it in sort of packaging oh my god it, these things look so nice when they're new <laughs> shiny right we got instruction um because i consider myself being a male i don't read instructions not often aha open it this way right okay okay With a little removable water container makes sense push it in like with many other coffee makers you push it in and that valve opens up and lets water into the machine. Yep. Oh, under the lid. Look at that. Under the lid. Dozing spoon. Look, and it says Makita on it. Oh, hey. So, push it in. Mug, cup, it looks like it's a, like a tw twin wall aluminium, cool, okay, that just sits there, it does not clip on, right, this is the little thing where you put a, right, okay, got it. Uh, the two of these this little filter it's for coffee grains or ground coffee you can put it either there you don't put it there you can put it here and you can use this bit if you're using the little pads just need to find out exactly what we load into this bit here because we do have two of them I'll have to admit defeat and look into instructions what do they say you got number 8 and number 9 what does it say 8 and 9 yeah the eight, number 8 it's for coffee ground and number nine is for little coffee pods. Yeah, as I thought. Okay, cool. Right. Ba, 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 probably saying make sure battery is fully charged, I would imagine. These LXT batteries, yeah. Yeah. So, fill the jug in there, put the coffee in, put 
for your machine, press the button. All right. Let's try that. First, I'm gonna quickly wash all this. I don't like to use it when it comes straight out of the factory. I'm gonna wash it and then we're gonna try it. Oh yes, 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 yes. You got two slots here. This one is for CXP, 12 volts batteries. I believe you'll have to have real chunky one for that to make cup coffee. And this is for LXT, 18 volt batteries. So, there you go. See you in a second. Just gonna wash it. All right, I washed it. This little container takes 240 milliliters of water, which is as much as one of these cups. So let's put a cap in. We've got freshly charged battery. As they say, look for the star. <laughs> Clicks in there. We got our strawberry jam. I mean, coffee ground. So let's get a little spoon, dozing spoon. All right. Let's make mess out of this. So two spoonful. Probably depends on what coffee you have and how strong you want it. Put more or less coffee. So I will go with one spoon for this. Now, before I actually run coffee through it, I'm just gonna run a bit with water on its own so it flushes uh, all the gaps inside. It's never been used before. So let's see. Press the button, little light came on. And we'll see when it's gonna start percolating or whatever it does, probably now heating up. Little element inside. Whilst it's doing that, let's see what they say here, how long it takes to make a cup of coffee. Day, two days, three days. I can hear it. Estimated brewing time for 160 milliliters. Okay. With 18 volt battery, approximately five minutes. Close the water tank lid. Right. Open the water tank lid, take a fresh and take the water tank out, pour the preferred amount of fresh water into the water tank and install it into appliance. Okay. Ah, I can hear another battery is getting charged up. Um okay, so ground coffee, six and a half grams, that's what I would imagine would be one of these spoons, it doesn't really say on here. You need 160 milliliters water, that tank takes 240, so just more than half. Close the water tank lid, remove the filter holder, coffee pod holder, follow the procedure below. Ground coffee, open the cover, take the filter out, oh I didn't do that. Put perfect amount of coffee into the filter, place the filter back in position. Close the cover, okay? And then insert the filter holder coffee pod into the slot. Um, put the cover on the coffee cup and place it on the cup rest. Press the power switch, the power lamp lights and brewing cycle begins. The appliance will automatically turn off 
the power when the brewing cycle is finished. Press the power switch if you want to stop brewing in the middle. All right, so I suppose we can't see how much we got stuff in a cup, but we got this bit here and we can see how much we got in the top. And to be honest with you, it's gone about halfway down. So I'll stop this now. And we have got how many milliliters he says there? I need to lift it up. This is now 120 milliliters. I like a bit stronger coffee. So I'll leave that as it is. I'll take this cup. Yes. Hot. It is hot definitely. So that goes out. It doesn't have any nasty smells, which is good. And this is our bit with coffee ground if i put that on press the button so it should be already pre-warmed and um, yeah let's wait glass is doing its own thing i'm gonna put this Spoon back in place. Got my jam jar. Always handy them little jars. This is real time, I'm not editing time at all. Um, so slowly, water slowly going down over there and apparently as it says once it goes down it will turn itself off so you'll see that as well and also i'm going to check what's going to be the status of the battery after this one brew i can smell it, it smells nice it smells like coffee like fresh coffee It's a clever little thing. I wonder how little element it's going it has to be to work on 18 volts and just the batteries. Very small element, very small boiling compartment. So basically it's not it is not espresso machine, it does not pump it on a high pressure like espresso machines do when you put a coffee in, stamp it up and then press the button and then boiling water goes with about 15 bars pressure through through the coffee, through the coffee ground and uh, into the cup. No, it's not that. This is like a percolator. So it boils water and let it drip over the coffee down into the cup it's like a filter machine filter coffee machine right that is just sucking the last of the water and it should turn itself off i believe that's what it said there I don't know, it's not doing it, so I'll just turn it off. Maybe if I left a bit longer, but can't be bothered. So, let's see what's the coffee like. It's black, it's a good sign. It's hot, that's another good sign. Yeah, it's 
it's good. Tastes like a, well, depending on the coffee beans, on the cof coffee ground, but uh, I'll, this is one of my favorite ones and um, yeah, tastes nice, I like it. And it's still dribbling. See that? Still dribbling, turned off, no water in container. We still got stuff inside, so I probably should have just leave it until it drains its own thing. All right, let me just flip that over. Ah, what a mess! Yeah, turned itself off. So what I should have done, I didn't. Just leave it in there for another. 5-10 seconds just to finish the cycle because I just lost I just lost uh, three sips of coffee there and made bottom of my machine dirty okay that's well that's one thing let's check the battery what's gonna be three bars two bars or one bar or nothing Two bars. Battery is warm because it did drain. Basically, what this is three amp battery, so it's halved. So one and a half amps is gone out in what was that? Four, four minutes, three minutes, four minutes. So yeah, it will be hot. So I don't think it's very good for like continuous making coffee in the shop. Or if you've got uh, five mates and for the lunch break everyone wants coffee, just tell them, bring their own battery. Don't waste your batteries on. So I would imagine it would kill or shorten the lifespan of the batteries if you just keep continuously using it just for coffee. Um, but, you know, one coffee at a time, let it cool down. I can't see why not. So if you got friends that want coffee as well, let them bring their own battery and enjoy a cup of coffee. Cheers guys.